Welcome Capricorn to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 30th of October for the Sun or the Ascendant. How are you feeling after the potency of that lunar eclipse? Because for you of course it was in house 5 which is about expressing affection, joy, engaging in pleasurable and sociable activities and really go in for the things that make us darn right happy. But the 11th house where the Sun, uh, Mercury and Mars continue to be is much more about the collective view. So in a way that lunar eclipse is kind of asking you the question, are you emotionally in touch with what you really need as an individual in terms of manifesting what makes you unique? And because Capricorns can be raw players, it's not saying you keep to every rule that there is and it of course depends on where we live some rules are different in different places but generally your more conservative instincts are being challenged by that lunar eclipse as you come into this week the great news however is that mars and jupiter which embrace that event on friday they're still in touch through to the middle of this week and that's a very uplifting energizing uh, vibe if it's used right um, certainly Jupiter's passion and enthusiasm in the fifth house is something to have and behold and you've got it through to the third week of May 2024 and it's a once in a 12 year cycle so you know great to demonstrate to people what makes you different your flair and talents and artistry um, and, and also just your sense of humor which I often think can be the greatest gift of Capricorns you have a great sense of humor um, but also Venus this week in house nine which is about travel uh, the truth of around relationships but expanding our, our horizons that's linking brilliantly to Uranus in Taurus and also then goes on to go opposite Neptune so both those influences are really vivid uh, obviously Uranus can be disruptive it's probably been pushing you in the last four and a half years to be uh, uh, in, more in touch with the potential to be a rebel than you may have been in the past uh, and before that during its journey through the sign of Aries perhaps the disruption was more about where you lived or around family life so I think having Uranus in the fifth house can be really positive if it does confront us if, we're, if we are playing it a bit too safe it's kind of saying well what could I gain by being a bit more experimental or taking some risks. So Venus obviously can be about love, it can be about loot, but I think in the sign of Virgo, obviously a fellow Earth uh, sign like yours and Taurus, it's really saying to you what's the value of certain involvements that you have and do they keep you stimulated? So certainly as far as your social situation or your romantic life, if certain uh, characters in, in your world aren't necessarily the people who, who really make you spark. That doesn't mean to say they're bad people, but I feel that you're yearning for the rush of a bit of unpredictability. And why not? And you could find it. Also, if you have found yourself a little bit tongue-tied since May the 7th when Saturn moved into Pisces, but particularly since the middle of June when it went retrograde, that's going to ease a little bit. I'm sure you've learned a lot about your values and about potentially your neighbours or even your siblings since particularly the middle of June. And that eases off. There is a quarter moon at the end of this week in House 8 for you with the sun in house 11. If there is any jealousy or politics around your friendship group or your social interactions, that will be a turn off as this week draws to a close. Now, I'd just like to remind you, if you've yet to order your year 2024 forecast transit report, transits is where the planets in the sky interact with your natal positions that creates an influence that's totally unique for each person. If you'd like to order it, you'll get the rest of this year free plus 30% off and get your life roadmap, your character analysis report, which will give you a much more intimate understanding of the patterns that have played out in your life so far and learn how to work with them more successfully future forwards. Please see the link below for more.